Hello, welcome back. It's uh, It's been a month and a half since I last recorded a part, which is insane, honestly. I don't know how it's been that long. Uh, I did upload one a couple of weeks ago, so uh, it's not been so long since I last uploaded, but it's been a while since I last played, and uh, I need to actually figure out what I'm going to do in terms of strategy in this part, because I don't feel like we're ready to go back and take Sparta. I think that's going to take some time. Uh, this army here is not really enough. Don't really have faith that this would be good enough to take on Thrace. What I'm hoping will happen is that Thrace and the Brutii will have a big fight and wear each other out. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to be sitting on Crete, uh, waiting for them to wear each other out, and then I'll take advantage once Thrace is looking relatively weak. Because I'm assuming that Thrace isn't actually going to be able to fight off all of these Brutii forces. Admittedly, the Brutii is currently split uh, in terms of its attention between the Dacians, who they are also at war with, uh, and the Thracians, who um, are going to absolutely eviscerate this guy. Uh, but I'm not convinced they have enough left after we fought them in the last part to actually really make a push on the Brutii, so I'm assuming the Brutii will be able to do some nice damage against them. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to move these guys over to Cyrene, which is going to require fighting off these guys, which should be fairly easy. They don't look too strong. There's a, a family member there, but otherwise fairly doable. And in the west, in Spain, we are going to press north, hopefully. We'll see what uh, what we're actually dealing with at the very northern end of Iberia. I think there is a town kind of nestled in these mountains here. We just want to see what we're up, actually up against there. Because my main concern about Spain is that although I do think we'll be able to take it over easily enough, uh, there is a risk that we're going to spread ourselves too thin. There are quite a few Spanish armies knocking around, some of which are fairly large, and uh, one thing I think we do need to do to help remedy that problem is to move back over to Parma and pick up probably the majority of these units, to be honest. Uh, their public order situation isn't great, but I think we still need to just take whoever we can over to Spain just to help push that a little bit further, and also keep recruiting various units here, so we'll get some... We're doing fine for infantry actually, so let's get some equites instead, and over here... I think we're good over there. Actually what I might do is, before I forget, I'm going to destroy... Sacred Grove of Abnoba, which doesn't get us much money back, but does enable us to start constructing the Shrine to Saturn as an alternative, and to slowly start turning their culture over to the Romans. I think that's pretty much all we can do. I do have a spy, so there's one spy here, there's one spy here. Your Honor. The spy is going to go take a look in the town. I think there is another army knocking around here somewhere to look out for, but yeah, we got in successfully. And uh, that's all looking fairly manageable. I think Scutarii are relatively okay as units. But still, I think that's all pretty manageable. And um, we should be able to take that on once we get there. Once our reinforcements arrive from Parma, I think we'll be a good moment to actually go and press that, but in the meantime, let's end the turn, see what happens. Let this guy go on his way. I speed these diplomat turns up, it's not really relevant <laughs> at all. Okay, so Lucas is still holding out for now. Seriously, the Greeks? We just made peace with them, I thought we were actually done. Uh, but there's something going on with Numidia there, looks like they're fighting someone else as uh, a few Spanish forces are starting to emerge from the shadows, and uh, this doesn't look good. Does not look good. So they're bringing peasants, that's the one good thing. But there's very little army in here. And this guy's literally three guys and yeah, loads of peasants. So can't actually hold them off, so we are actually going to have to go and take the town back off them. That's insane, we only just made peace with them, and I'm pretty sure they paid us too. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, right. Okay, well, we're not at war with them anymore. Um, I, I don't trust them one bit, so I'm going to actually... <sighs> I'm going to try and get this army over there as soon as possible so that we can hopefully kick them off the island at least. But... I think the threat isn't really going to be neutralized until they actually come over here with a ship and actually take this guy away because I think he's a bit of an opportunist and he's just going to keep attacking Kaidonia uh, until until he actually leaves. And once he's left, hopefully he'll stop bothering us, but uh, that's pretty much just an irritant. I think we should deal with that completely fine. Uh, that stuff is not really news. We're back to being the most advanced faction, to my surprise, because I feel like we've taken a few steps back recently. Um, but that's all fine. I'm not too worried about what I've seen of the Spanish. There's a fairly large force here. If it wants to go through there, it has to actually fight off the the rebels, which would be great if they actually do that. But uh, actually, it's a pretty huge force. I assume they're not all four units because it's clearly not uh, a full banner army. But uh, they've left Carthago Nova quite open there. There's definitely opportunity. This is fairly manageable too. Tempted to go out and actually fight them on the field, but they're going to take at least one more turn to get here. Unfortunately, there's not enough of a population here to actually seriously do much in the way of recruitment. Okay. I'm going to send the spy on just to see what's actually garrisoned in here. As Yeah, it's actually fairly weak as expected. Could probably take that on in the next few turns. But first, I just want to see what they do with these actual armies here on the move. I think we are going to have to fight those off before we can safely go and besiege them. But I think I will leave it to them to make the next move. Uh, in terms of priorities, of course, public order is always an issue. But I'm starting to kind of change my attitude a little bit now. I kind of want to start focusing on uh, actually improving income first and foremost, I think. So as long as the public order situation in these towns isn't absolutely critical, uh, I'm fairly happy just to focus on actually getting a bit more money in the short term at least because at the moment money is just permanently an issue the town of Lilibyme has decreased in size to the point where I'm hoping we can hold off and not waste our money on the Imperial Palace because that's really just too expensive I really don't want to do that uh, there's quite a bit we can build here In fact, there's just quite a lot in general that we can build that's going to improve our income, so I'm hoping we can do that without too much trouble. Let's kind of slow down our momentum in terms of actually pressing and attacking. But I think that's the right approach for now. Let's go for the relatively cheap options if we can. So, shipwrights relatively cheap. Uh, this town's always pretty useless, yep. Still a while before it's going to grow enough to... kind of a shame. I probably shouldn't have exterminated that one in hindsight. I think that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, but elsewhere, let's actually get a few roads and things. So highways is too expensive. Shipwright is reasonable. Uh, we're already recruiting here. Actually, we're not. Okay, well, let's keep those coming. 1,500 left in the bank. I'm not sure it's going to really make make us much money to go for paved roads in Scalabus there. Capua. Yeah, the stuff in Italy is already pretty firmly built up, so we can't do too much there. Okay, so I might actually just go for the roads here. And... Have we finished? No. So one more turn before we finish the militia barracks. I'm tempted to get a town watch just to try and scare these guys off a little bit. Wouldn't actually beat them in a fight, but if we can trick the AI into thinking that they'd actually lose that somehow, that would be great. Uh, I didn't see what happened to the Bruti army here, but it looks like it did get destroyed, or at least pushed back. And so they do have quite a strong stack there, and I think I think they're reasonably evenly matched with the Thracians, so hopefully we'll 
do a bit of damage to them, although I am hoping they don't actually take their towns because uh, I want to take those for myself, of course. At the very least, I want to take Sparta, Athens, and uh, I've forgotten what this one's called. Uh, I think it begins with C. But I think we're good just to end the turn there. First we'll pick up the units from Parma. Okay, so let's see how much we can take out before the public order situation goes really bad. Uh, that make them happier. I'm pretty sure that made them happier, so I'm not sure how that works. This is going to lower our income, but it's worth it just to get some Roman culture in here. I'm sure we can move out the equites. Okay, down to 100%, that's all fine. Did that make a difference? No, they're actually completely fine. So I'm actually going to recruit the town watch there, and I'm presuming once the town watch. Mm. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. Actually, I'm going to send them right back. And since they're already happy with just with that, I'm going to not recruit the town watch. Just get in the boat. And this army is. It's enough to defeat that. It's not enough to defeat the potential backup force. But what I can do, potentially... It all depends on what this force does, because if this force tries to go west, it's going to have to fight off the rebels, so it's going to take some losses, and then it should be pretty easy to pick off. On the other hand, if it turns around and goes east, which it has to, that's the only other way it can go. Unless it goes all the way around here. But if it does go east, then it's going to take a couple of extra turns, and it's going to be a lot harder to deal with, just because we don't really have a big enough force here to actually take that on. I wouldn't mind seeing what's going on with the Numidians. I'm sure they're not at war with Egypt, so presumably they're just trying and failing to deal with rebels, which is kind of funny because we're still at war with them and they're not going to do too much for a long time, I think. Uh, let's just end the turn. Yeah, I think Numidia is pretty much out of the game. Oh, of course you will. Absolute bastards. Okay, we've been kicked out of Siwa. Presumably we can just go back in though. But first, I wouldn't mind seeing what's actually going on there. Looks like they're joining forces together. Uh, the Spanish didn't go for an attack against the rebels. Found a spy in Corduba. Okay, they're really unhappy now too. Gonna have to recruit a spy of my own, I think, just to counteract the public order penalty. Alright, Kriegs has gone to war with us. Let's see if we can talk them out of it again. I don't have too much faith that they're gonna keep agreeing to ceasefires. Wow, okay. Well, that's really stupid, but okay. Grand. Uh, right, lots of buildings done. End of turn report, we're not making as much money as we were. We have got a few decent income buildings on the way. I think we just built roads in Cordoba. Can potentially go for. I should prioritize public order. Shrine to Saturn's only 800, two turns. We might as well do it. And it is busy for the rest of the turn. I'm not sure what happened to the big force. So have we been kicked out? Yeah, we've been kicked out, but we can still see what they have. So where's that big force gone? Not possible, sir. Moving. Moving. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of that. Still tempted just to besiege Carthage Nova here. Probably from the south would be best. Blockade. You guys are done for the turn. And with the public order situation being as bad as it is, I don't think we can really send an army out of Cordoba just yet. We do have a little bit of money to spend. Let's just check that there are no absolute crises to deal with in terms of public order. So Lily Byam is unhappy and probably getting more unhappy. But I think that's okay. 
Everyone else is relatively okay. Thapsus is already building. Not too happy, but already building the Imperial Palace. They should lighten up soon enough. Hassan is not too happy. I think we're just going to have to go with the large temple to Neptune here. Uh, Kydonia, I hope, is now finally done. Yep. Let's get some Hastati, and let's retrain these two. Is it worth building the wooden wall just to put them off slightly? I think land clearance is better just for making money. Are you guys bringing a force? Nope. Okay, I'd like to get a spy across to there if possible. This is one of our happier towns. Between roads and land clearance. I think wooden wall, we don't really need it. We're getting a bit of an army in here anyway. Let's just go for land clearance. And that should leave us with just enough money to... Potentially buy a few more units. The issue is Cyrene can't really recruit anything. Uh, these guys are kind of remote. A bit awkward to actually transport units across from there. Speaking of which, I could just get a trireme. I think I will. Uh, and I believe I have a diplomat here, so this diplomat can go speak to these guys. I'm tempted to make peace with them just so we don't have to think about them or care about them anymore and potentially could send the spy somewhere else instead. Yeah, let's see what's going on. As yeah, it is just a big rebel force. Egyptian rebels. So it's not like they've had a turncoat situation. So it's one of these, the faction leader. Faction air is there. Faction leader presumably still in here. 81% chance of success. I'm just going to train him up a bit by spying on that. I'm going to start heading back, I think. Uh, ships can get to... There. Right, let's fight this guy off because he's in our lands. Bring this over. Mercenary situation still not looking great, so we won't bother with that. And I think that's pretty much it. Although, we can potentially make a move here now. Because so these guys haven't really done too much. Um, I think that the big force is probably in this area. Because we can't see anything else. I doubt they're hidden. I guess it's possible they could hide in the trees here, but I think the spy would pick up on that. 100% chance of success if we spy on these. Let's go for it. 32% chance that we open the gates immediately. We take everything except this. Just how bad will things get? Pretty bad. Okay, in that case... We just go full cav. Wow, that actually doesn't please them either. Imperator. Gonna have to stay put here for a little while longer, I think. Which is okay. And Cordoba, I'm just gonna leave it for one more turn just to get the spy in there to counteract the opposing spy. And that leaves us with no other money. So the Seleucid Empire has been destroyed, or the Seleucid Empire I think it's actually pronounced. They've been destroyed. Uh, blockade Athens. Of course, that's not owned by the Greeks anymore, so fair enough. They haven't attacked us again. Oh, they have. Okay. Wow. I'm actually tempted to use this as a means of harvesting money from them, but no, I just want to deal with them. Have them go away. This is so stupid, but whatever. We'll push them off eventually. Paved roads, Egypt's overtaken us again. I didn't even realize that was a Senate mission, so that's pretty good. And yep. Selected Empire, Selected Empire, whatever they're pronounced. It's been destroyed. As uh, this force here could definitely beat us. If it combines with the, the other force. And it's just a captain as well, so it's not like we can... 
It's not like we can send in some mercenaries or anything. Let's see how much I can actually take out of here. So I'm going to leave the peasants behind. This is obviously going to make them very unhappy. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. So Spanish mercenaries are kind of expensive. Starty, we shouldn't need too badly. Okay, none of this is making any difference whatsoever. 25%, okay. We might just be stuck. Because if we split too much more, we won't really have enough to actually take these guys on. Not sure it's even worth attacking the town. If we go in with our spy, perhaps there's a small chance. 32% chance that we can open the gate. Oh wow, we actually managed it, sweet. So we're going to go in and attack these guys. Let's actually make sure we know exactly what we're up against here. Okay, so naked fanatics are kind of terrible. They're quite strong, but as long as we focus them down probably with the Velites, I think we can deal with those fine. Uh, Warhounds, <laughs> based on previous experiences, are complete crap. Uh, Iberian infantry are just a fairly average unit, but the general there could be a little tough to deal with. We'll go in, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so in the front they've just got this one unit of naked fanatics. And those guys are going to be pretty vulnerable to missile fire, so we're going to send in the Velites. They do have shields, but I think because their defense is just so low, um, they're pretty easy to kill off with projectiles anyway. Uh, I think the Barbarian Warlord is also on the move, but doesn't look like he's actually coming to attack us. That's fine. I need these guys to not be stupid, I don't know what they're trying to do here. As you can see, sometimes it's absolutely possible just to attack them through the gates, and other times they get really stupid and try to charge through it instead, but uh, we are going to get off a nice volley here. Which immediately kills off nine of them, and... By the looks of it, they're going to try and run away. Now we're going to hit them with another volley. Kill a few more. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Okay, we've got the walls. Need to be a little bit careful here because if they do charge us with the barbarian cavalry, uh, there's no way we're going to get away. The Velites are going to rout immediately if they can engage us. Uh, these guys wearing masks, or do they just all have grey hair? I can't quite tell. Uh, oh, they've got helmets on, weird helmets. They're called naked fanatics, but uh, they're clearly not actually naked. I guess the game would be a higher rating if they were. Okay, so they're slightly too far back now, so I'm not too confident about this. I'm going to wait until the infantry actually get in before I go for this. Okay, the naked fanatics are coming back for another attack. I'm hoping that the Velites... We'll be able to get off at least one volley as, uh, no, I don't trust them at all. They are actually going to run straight into the Naked Fanatics somehow. I can only hope they don't rout immediately. Um, they should not be fighting there at all. I think skirmish mode really does not work too well inside town walls. As, uh, they actually did get a couple of kills there by the looks of it, but yeah, we definitely want to use our normal infantry for this one. And my main idea for the Numidian mercenaries is just to hopefully bring them in later on to lure in the general's bodyguard, which is going to be seriously tough to deal with. These guys should be pretty vulnerable to the peeler if we can hit them. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to though, so in that case let's pull back. We've got a nice defensive position here, I don't think we should squander it for the sake of an uphill battle. Bring in the cavalry. And the Velites. Should be able to lure someone in at least. As I see they are coming in. With some more naked fanatics from the west or from whatever that direction is. Presumably the west. Let's form up. And let's bring in our cav to potentially flank them if we can. Uh, 
looks like we haven't managed to get too many kills so far, but they should be pretty vulnerable to the peeler. They do go down pretty quickly. Let's see if we can get around them without actually getting sucked into the fight. I just want to try and route them. Well, they can get too many kills, as you can see they have already done quite a number on us, but if we turn around, hit them in the back, hopefully that'll break them. They are wavering. There we go, broken them now. That's one unit down. Gonna need to be really careful here, actually, because even if we win the fight, uh, there is another fairly large army lurking outside the borders. So we're gonna need to keep everyone alive as much as possible, so we need to be very tactical, which might slow it down a little bit, but I think that's probably our only real hope here. It's not quite as clear-cut as it looks. The thing about the General's Bodyguard is they can just charge down and pretty much cut through us like butter if they want to. I've got a few Velites here, just to try and lure them in if we want to. I will move towards them. But, uh, I think this will be slightly harder to flank with the cavalry. Let's turn skirmish mode off because I really don't trust it. I don't know if it's interfering with my commands or anything, but yeah, I really don't trust it. You guys are getting too close once again, I'm just going to pull them all back. Fight them off with the infantry instead. These guys are a little bit better in terms of defense, they've got a slightly different profile to the naked fanatics. So, not actually the best target for the Velites anyway. So hopefully now we can flank them and overwhelm them. <laughs> Slowly they're figuring out what to do. Go for the peeler attack, see how many we get. Actually broke them, nice, okay. Let's chase them down with these. We want to keep the Hastati back. Actually, if they could just stop, then we'll leave it to the Hastati to get all the kills. They're actually going to take out that whole unit. Not need to involve any cavalry at all. Or well, nearly all of them, anyway. Okay. I don't want to get too close to the General's Bodyguard, just because... We need to attack him with everything at once in order to really stand a chance. He has still got a few units left. So in terms of where we can surround him from, I think we could come from the back. We could come from the, uh, the side here. Uh, as I think this kind of angle here is completely blocked off. So there's only three ways to surround him if we do want to try and surround him, which I think we do. I'm going to pull these guys around here. I'm actually going to send my biggest unit of infantry around with them as well. I don't think we're going to be able to very easily pull them into an open space. I'm going to move the rest of the Histati up to here. It's going to be quite a slow surround, I think. I'm going to speed this up. And I'll probably skip forward until something happens. Okay, something did happen. The idiot general uh, charged through the middle of the town when I was trying to send him around to flank, so now we are actually engaging by the looks of it. I'm hoping that the general's bodyguard won't actually come and fight us and we can just use this opportunity to finish off all the dogs. So I think those should be fairly manageable, as long as they don't kill the general. A little bit dangerous. I can't see exactly how many we're killing, uh, but they are getting quite a few kills against us. I think the infantry should be a good option against these horses, of course. Nice big targets for the dogs. Uh, they're doing a little bit more damage than I expected. Still not sure exactly how you're supposed to use war dogs. It makes it sound like they're good for chasing down routing opponents, but in this case actually putting up a pretty good fight, taking out most of our cavalry. Supposedly the Hastati are fighting them, but I think they're kind of blocked off a bit. We have now potentially got a three-way surround going. We've got to deal with one pretty much full unit of Naked Fanatics and General's Bodyguard too. I've got a few Velites to hopefully weaken him slightly before we have to fight him. Uh, I think we have at least killed the dogs. 
Uh, we really don't want to draw that guy out. This flank alone is uh, fairly weak now, and I don't have much faith that it could actually take that general out. We go for the slow creep, slow surround. Might actually manage it. This if we can drag them, which I don't think we can. It's gonna be a bit tight. Very tight in fact. Thing is the Velites really don't have much in the way of range. So I think we kind of have to do it that way. Uh, who are these guys actually fighting? Are they still fighting the dogs? Got a real number on them. Okay, we'll bring the Hastati up to here, and we'll bring... I think they're actually still fighting the dogs somehow. They're still getting killed by dogs, but they're not actually fighting them. Okay, that's really stupid. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Something has happened. We've been charged by the general, okay. All bets are off, we just have to go for it now. Uh, they have routed us already. Okay, disappointed but not surprised. Right, let's try and at least take them down in the square. So, uh, I presume they're going to go and finish off our Velites too. So those guys are all going to route, but hopefully we can finish off whoever's left in the square. I'm not convinced the cavalry are even going to be able to do it, to be honest. General's looking very weak. These guys are just miles away. Okay. This is no way for a Roman to behave. Shame will be his forever. Your general runs away. Okay, I do think we can do this. Like, um, that general's bodyguard is just too awkward to deal with in such a confined space. It's a, it's a, an age-old problem, pretty much. Uh, one I've had before in this playthrough, so. I think we're just going to have to accept that and just try and get as many kills as we can. Potentially could actually just flee, but I have still got a few peeler left. So the general is presumably going to come back pretty quickly. We are going to throw the peeler. Try and get as many kills as possible. Stop. Okay, we've routed them, so that's good. Try and clean them out. Nope, just immediately routed. Okay, I accept defeat. I don't think we can do this. I will fight them until the General's Cavs show up and then, in fact, we're just going to route straight into them by the looks of it. Are you withdraw too? Fine. I really don't think there's a way to do that, at least not a reasonable way, so I'm just going to have to accept it. That kind of sucks, but we have weakened them slightly and we can always come back with our larger force later on to finish them off. Okay, the forces melt away, which is kind of unfortunate, it means that we don't get to bring anyone over in the ships. Ready to sail. But it is what it is. At least we don't have to pay their upkeep anymore, and we can focus on getting some better forces over here. So I think in that fight, the best performers probably were actually the infantry. So let's get some more principes on that basis, and let's spend all of these resources wherever we can. So over here in Kydonia. Once again, we're going to keep buying as much Astarte as we can. Uh, I can fight off this rebel force. But I'm kind of tempted to skip that because they are now in the Numidian lands. Ready to sail. Engage the enemy. Okay, just going to push them back slightly more for the sake of it. Come over here, pick them up. And... 
We're going to make our way over to Kydonia first. I might actually attack the Greek general there because I, I'm not really sure how else to deal with him, to be honest. So have we not made peace? Noble master, I shall speak with them at once. I'm really confused by this. We're blockading his port. But we've made peace with him. Okay. Hopefully, with trade rights, we will at least be able to put him off uh, attacking us again. As uh, oh, we're not blockading it. It's the Pontic Navy that's blockading it. Okay, that confused the crap out of me. But it looks like we're fine. Okay. So four thousand denarii left to spend. Uh, once again, I think. Well. Situation here is looking pretty dire. Might have to recruit some peasants. Not really sure what else we can do. There's a bit of a peasant revolt going on here too. And that could explain to some extent some of the low public order. Imperator, Imperator. Not sure I want to attack them with this force though. It's definitely doable, but it's not the lack of cavalry means that some losses would be inevitable and I'm I'm kind of inclined just not to bother. Uh, let's actually have a look. Where can we build? And where needs us to build? So Carthage is going to be completely fine as it is now for a long time. I could get the dockyard. I would definitely be tempted to. I think Carthage is going to be probably our biggest money maker. And one thing that is worth knowing about this game in general is that uh, you shouldn't pay too much attention to the income that's displayed over the town itself because upkeep is distributed evenly between all cities but it's weighted based on that city's population so basically Carthage is overwhelmingly paying our wages even if it looks like it's making us or losing us lots of money uh, that's not actually how it works. You can see it's pretty much just 2,800 worth of upkeep that's costing us so much money here. And as you can see, we do mostly just have peasants. So it's not Carthage's forces alone that are costing quite that much. Um, but we're not actually making too much from trade. And I think we do just want to keep pushing that. Circus Maxim is so expensive. I'm not sure if just by building that we improve public order. Definitely don't want the forum because I don't want the population growth bonus. I think I will go for the dockyard. Uh, meanwhile, I can actually send a few units across from here. Send our principes into there. And I am going to go over here just to pick up the Arcani. I'm not sure about everything else. I think we should pick those up. Cardonia is already building, so we can potentially put a shrine down somewhere, if there is somewhere to put a shrine. Not sure if we built one here yet. Yes, we have. Okay. Got a shrine here, and... I think we'll just leave the 800 in the bank for now. Potentially can actually recruit, instead of recruiting the peasants and tapsers, can use this as a chance to... recruit some Vastati instead. Or even the Arcani, but the Arcani will take two turns, which is not ideal. I think it makes sense too, though. Just for the sake of having a really good unit. And I would actually like to check up on Capua, because we really need these Marian reforms pretty badly at this point. Also up the tax rate, which is useful. Yeah, it's going to be a while. We've lost so many people to the plague, that we're not going to get the Marian reforms for quite a long time, unfortunately. I think we've pretty much done all we can for the turn. Your Honor. Guys being kept pretty busy. Potentially send him to be picked up and use him as our spy over in Thapsus, but I, I think... Not Thapsus, sorry. Thrace. But I think keeping him here is useful even if we do make peace with the Midians. Let's go back into there as... Uh, wow, he died. Okay. Never mind then. At least we're not paying his wages anymore. I'm going to offer these guys a ceasefire and I'm going to ask them for... I'm not going to ask for much. Okay. 
So they're clearly very poor, which is not too surprising. Uh, let's just ask them for 100. Right, okay. I think they will accept peace, but just not this turn. We're going to end the turn there. Uh, I couldn't really make heads or tails of what just happened there with Brutii. I, I don't think they were fighting the Thracians. We'll see what the Thracians do on their turn. Okay, so they still got into our town even though we have a spy in there. I'm not really sure how that works then. Uh, what's going on here? Who is this guy? Rebels are attacking us right next to the Greek town for some reason. That's kind of annoying. Okay, fine. I don't really need to be there. Uh, benefactor for adoption, 29 years old. It's a relatively young and not too bad for three command stars. I will accept that. I'd like to know where he is though. This guy, right? So he's in Capua. It's gonna make him slightly awkward to bring over. Uh, Thapsus is now extremely unhappy. But only two turns left to hold out, so even if they do riot and do some damage, they're not gonna go for a full on rebellion, I don't think. That should be okay. Destruction report. Hopefully our income has improved as a result of all this. This is a lot of income production buildings, if nothing else. Uh, Quintus Scipio has been born, and we've lost 500 denarii, but that's through. Construction projects. So even though we've not actually expanded too much in terms of taking territory, or indeed expanded at all in terms of taking territory, uh, we are in a slightly healthier position economically, I think, and we are still able to keep building uh, income buildings. I will get the mines plus one just for that improved income, although I should actually check how much of a difference that makes, so compared to the normal mines it's going to be an extra 150 income per turn, which is going to take how long exactly? Like 23 turns or something to repay itself, something like that. Um, that's really quite long, but I am prepared to go long term focused because until we get the Marion reforms, we're not exactly stuck, but it's getting harder and harder to expand while actually maintaining some kind of relatively passable income, so I think that's okay. Uh, Scalabus is actually fairly happy. Let's actually bump up their tax rate. Uh, or of course we could venture north. Try to take out Asturica. I don't think the rebels are going to move. Let's see what would make them happy. They're still on 50% even if we do that. Can recruit war dogs, which I really don't want to. I don't know if the dogs help improve public order as well, that would be an interesting question. Okay, so we've got Spanish mercenaries and barbarian mercenaries. Barbarian mercenaries very expensive in upkeep and in initial cost, considering that they're pretty terrible. They're not massively awful, but Spanish mercenaries are a lot better than... They're both called Spanish mercenaries, I couldn't really make that one out. Also, who was I just commanding? This guy's gone back in the town. I don't really know how that happened. Yeah, Spanish mercenaries, barbarian mercenaries, okay, so very similar names, but... Some are Spanish, and some are not. Yeah, that didn't help. Okay, actually, on reflection, yeah. We're just going to have to accept that we're kind of stuck where we are for the moment. And we can at least take this as an opportunity to actually build up some of the lands we do have, because we have expanded pretty aggressively for pretty much the whole first phase of the campaign. And I don't think that's like strictly necessary or anything. I think that's just the way I happen to have played it. There is an argument just for playing the economic game for a little while. And I will of course go to attack Corinth and Sparta once my forces arrive. Uh, I would like to see a little bit better how much they actually have left to defend that area. If I could recruit a spy that'd be great. Can't do it here though. We'll get some Hastati and I will get Rhodes. They also help with income, although I'm not 
Not really sure how much roads help on an island province, I'm always a bit confused by that one, but we'll see how it goes, we'll end the turn. Just content ourselves with staying put. I would have liked to have taken that town, but I, I just don't see how it would have really been a possibility. Um, these guys are getting attacked again. Right. That's kind of annoying. Okay, he wants to get. She wants to get married to him. He's a true Roman. He's been in the wars. He's. He's kind of difficult to kill, which is good. That is actually quite useful. But twenty-six years old isn't that young. I might still take him just because he's another unit. He's another man. He's gonna help. Lots of wars going on. Seleucid Empire. Thought they were dead. Unless that's just the game's way of confirming that they're dead or something. Ceasefire between Julii and Thrace, that's annoying. Uh I don't really know what's going on there, so Dacia have become a client kingdom of the Julii, is it? Presumably that is the case, but they're pretty strong still. They've still got like four settlements and a full stack here. I'm kind of surprised they agreed to that. But okay, why not? So we have built the large temple of Neptune at Masana. If it's anything cheap, we'll build it. So paved roads, I think, will pay for itself. And I don't really feel like the income is going up too much yet, but there's still time for that to happen. Uh, dockyard could tempt me. Awesome Temple of Neptune enables us to build the Corvus Kinkarim, which will pretty much give us full control of the seas, but I'm not too worried about the seas. There are a few annoying things going on, like when the rebels take out our navy. But I don't really think that's such a big deal. Yes, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Ready to Probably shouldn't actually send this guy out at all. I'm going to leave him in the dock. Move, uh, we've recruited the Arcani at Thapsus. At least bring those over, even if everyone else is very unhappy. Although well, actually they're not rebelling yet, and not rioting yet. And it's about to be built, so we can send over pretty much anything that resembles military. Let's try these for now. I think they will riot for one turn, but that's okay. Yeah, so they'll probably riot for one turn, um, but we can easily recover from that. And uh, I'd be tempted to send even more units over, to be honest. I think we really need to go for Thrace. Should be able to make a move on them next turn, pretty much. We'll go that way round. Um, we'll try to bring a couple of these guys over. Uh, yeah, the governor is the engineer guy, that makes sense. Cool, okay, so... Shall we blood our new generals against some town watch? I think we will, but obviously I'll fight that one off screen. Uh, I think we've done enough for this part, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, unfortunately, no victories in this part, but I think we're laying down the foundations for a, a stronger empire in the economic sense, if nothing else. So yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you next time.